what is up everyone welcome back for another video of Diablo 3 so right now we are gonna take a look at the witch doctor the witch doctor is very useful for dead bread farming but also for searching those transmogs or even pets or maybe you even want to find the cosmic wings uh, I still don't have them after these years but maybe you have found them already who knows Anyway, in this video we will be talking about the chicken build. It is strong with all those updates from last season. You can pretty much do Great Rift 80, um, Great Rift 80, uh, that cannot be hard. Or you can just use this build for the real purpose, and that is farming those dead breads and doing bounty runs or searching for those pets. So there is not really a big difference in this build and the build that I already made in last season. Uh, but if you do did not see that video, then this video is for you. So for this build you need 5 pieces of the Heltood set and a Ring of Royal Grandeur in the Canais Cube. Um, this will give you the 6 set bonus. After casting all of that, your monsters will get 4400% increased damage. Also, they will be affected by the second set bonus and this will apply Necrosis. The enemies who got hit will take 1500% more damage and you also get 60% damage reduction if an enemy gets affected by Necrosis. Then we want to go to Mask of Jerem as the helmet. This will increase the damage of your pets which is pretty useful as always. For our ring, we want to use the short man's finger. I don't want to really want to know what the person was holding when he gave it that name, but let's skip that part. This will change your gargantuan in three small ones, and the damage will be increased by 600%. I've still got the ring from season 5 or something, and it did not update automatically, so that's annoying. Then we want to use the Compass Rose and the Traveler's Splash. This is the perfect set for this build because when you are moving it will reduce the damage taken and when you are standing still your damage will be increased. So for the belt I'm using String of Ears. This will give you 30% melee damage reduction because we are standing in the middle of groups sometimes and we are just hoping that the pets will save us. Nemesis Braces will spawn elites, which is pretty useful if you are doing the Great Rift or if you are searching for dead breads. Then we want to use the Exploding Chicken set. I mean Manu Yamlaya Mas. The, anyway, the Chicken set. This will increase the duration of your chicken form and it will increase your movement speed when you get out of chicken form. Uh, I mean when you are in chicken form and when you are out of chicken form you will fucking explode. Then we want to use the Furnace, um, just to increase the damage to Elite. Task Garantino will increase the attack speed of your pet, so that means more damage. Ring of Royal Grandeur, so we can get the 6 set piece bonus. For the Legendary Gems, we want to use the Enforcer. This will increase the damage of your pets, which is great. I'm also using Bane of the Trapped, um, for just for the damage. And you also want to use Bane of the Powerful. This will increase your damage by 20%. It will increase the damage to at least by 50%. And your damage reduction will be 50% less. For the Paragon Points, 25% movement speed. The rest goes into Intelligence. Offense, Quick to Chance, Quick to Damage, Attack Speed, Cooldown Reduction, Defense, Armor, Life, All Resist and Life Regen. And as last, utility, area damage, life per hit. For the skills. Where's the skill button? There we go. Wall of Dead, Consuming with Spirits. This will activate the second set bonus and we will apply a necrosis on enemies so you will get reduced damage. It will increase the damage of your pets and the skill itself will give you 25% reduced damage. Piranha, Spironado, this will bring the monster together and affected enemies will take 50% more damage. Zombie Dogs, Leeching Beast, this will help you to stay alive. You can also go for a Life Link, this will give you some damage reduction, which is great. Gargantuan, Human Goid, you will now have three of these because of the Short Man's Finger, and they are doing a lot of damage. This is your damage um, thing. Hex, Angry Chicken, because of a Manu whatever, you can stay in chicken form for a little bit longer. Spirit Walk, Yount. Um, we are always making jokes about this that it will bring you into problems but most of the time it really does. 
For our passives, a grave injustice because our monsters are doing massive damage. You want to get some cooldown reduction when you are killing some monsters. Pierce the fail, all your damage is increased by 20%. Jungle Fortitude for the damage reduction. And Midnight Feast, the damage of your zombie dogs and gargantuan is increased by 50%. For the states on the gears, it is pretty obvious, but for the people who don't know it. Helmet, Intelligence, Vitality, Critical Chance. Shoulders, Intelligence, Vitality, Gargantuan Damage, Area Damage. Necklace, Cold Damage, Critical Chance, Critical Damage. Gloves, Critical Chance, Critical Damage, Area Damage and Attack Speed. Chest, Gargantuan Damage, Intelligence, Vitality. Braces, Cold Damage, Intelligence, um, Critical Chance and Vitality. Compass Rose. Intelligence, critical chance, critical damage and attack speed for the belt, intelligence, vitality, life percent and armor. For the other ring, intelligence, critical chance, critical damage for the pants. As usual, all resist, intelligence, vitality, armor. For the weapon, um, intelligence, attack speed, life per hit or area damage. For your boots, intelligence, vitality, all resistant armor. And as last, for the mojo, intelligence, vitality, gargantuan damage and critical chance. So, let's see if my computer can handle if we are gonna do, I mean, uh, if we are gonna do a Nephilim Rift. Uh, let's see. So, that should be pretty easy. We are just gonna walk in. I'm not sure if my computer can handle it because... It has a virus or something. I have no idea what it has. So as you can see, my bottoms are not working. God damn it! Where are my gargantuans? Oh, they are not up yet. Okay, there we go. Here is the damage coming. Check it out, boys. This is going so fast. It is just fucking pathetic. It's hilarious. You can do. You can. This is not a normal rift, by the way. What the hell is this? I'm hearing a weird sound. I'm, I'm not sure if you hear it, but I hear it, and it's annoying. So let's search for... Oh, there are some elites. Pyranado, Wall of Death, and everything is destroyed. So that is how this build works. Just walk to elites, just stand in the middle or in front of them, and just destroy them. And as I already said, this is just... Uh, this is a place where you can get a transmog. So I'm going to stop this video right now and I'm going to do this quest. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment, like and subscribe. Also turn on the notification, it's next to the subscribe button. If I'm not making any other video, then that means my computer is on fire and that I destroyed it. And then you have to wait a few days and I will be back. I will be back. I will see you in the next video. Peace.